Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 drag tune for you today, and this time it's a pretty interesting one. Not an obvious choice of drag car, and it's the Nissan GTR concept and the LM racing version. Very interesting car. It's one of the relatively few racing cars on Gran Turismo that can be equipped with NOS. They're pretty hard to find, but there are some. And that gives the car a very distinct advantage in a straight line over pretty much any other GT class race car. And it also makes it a pretty good drag car as well. Now, unfortunately, it's not an all wheel drive car. And that's a real shame because being a GTR, that would have been the perfect combination. But as it is, it's still an extremely fast model, even over the quarter mile, which is surprising considering how much power and torque it has, which would usually just lead to wheel spin. So I would recommend racing soft tyres, but obviously that's down to personal preference. I've increased the ride height to the maximum to take up drive off the line without bottoming out. Springs we've got on 12, 50 and 11. Dampers, three on the front, one on the rear and three for extension. Anti-roll as low as possible on this one, with neutral camber and tow. For the gearbox, the highest possible auto setting. Then for the individual gears, we've got 3.4. Then 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, or 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th, I should say, all the way to the left. 6th on 0.800 and 7th on 0.675. Now, you don't really use 7th with this tune, or I wouldn't recommend using it anyway. And we've got a final drive of 2.9. For the diff, you want the lowest initial torque to reduce wheel spin, of course, high acceleration and low braking, your high RPM turbo, obviously your NOS kit, and your downforce set to the minimum. Traction control, I would of course recommend turning off. And as usual, I like putting these cars up against more obvious choices of drag car, more popular choices, just to show what they can do in real drag situations. So in this case we're putting it up against the ever popular Supra, which is of course one of the quickest, especially long range drag cars. So this car doesn't have all wheel drive to aid it, so let's see how it compares. Both are rear wheel drive, both have racing softs, and both of course are using NOS. And I am also using a manual box on this one because I would recommend using that really it's far better with this car than automatic because with the auto box it just doesn't change gear at the right time now this is not really a long distance drag tune but as you can see despite the fact that it's rear wheel drive it still absolutely leaves the Supra standing even up to the 2000 meter mark which is pretty impressive because racing cars usually or GT class racing cars specifically generally aren't that good over longer distances. Now obviously 2,000 meters isn't a massive difference, but for most GT class cars the Supra would catch up to them by around the 1,000 meter mark if not less. So the fact that this car is allowed for whatever reason to have NOS makes a massive massive difference. It is kind of a shame that it's not all-wheel drive because that would make it even quicker, but as it is it's a seriously rapid car. I would not recommend, as I said, using it for longer distances for drag because the top speed isn't that strong. But the acceleration is very, very good up to around the 2000 meter mark. It does the quarter mile in 8.2. It does the standing mile in just over 20 seconds, 0 to 60 in a very impressive 1.9 seconds. It hits 100 in 3.4. It hits 200 miles per hour in just over 10 seconds. So again, for a GT class machine, very, very strong performance. In fact, it's almost as quick as a full-on prototype because of the fact that it's allowed to have NOS. So overall, if you don't own this car, don't buy it thinking that it's going to be some machine that can beat everything, because that's just not the case. This car is very good for a very specific niche, and the niche that this car is, is a nos GT car. In the GT class, it will pretty much beat anything in a drag race. Up against a prototype, though, it's going to lose out top end, 
am up against most supercars or sports cars, again, it will lose top end. But it's an interesting alternative, especially to other racing cars for shorter distance drags, and the fact that it can have NOS is pretty cool. So, if you do own this car and decide to use this tune, obviously I hope you find it helpful and, of course, competitive. And if you're new to the channel or would like to keep up with new tunes like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.